I've, oh. That's so funny, I've never seen that before. Roxy's spouse is flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind her back? Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims Spot in the City. In my Christmas Eve. Oh my god, I'm so scared of like every time I knock something, everything shakes. And I'm like, ah, I'm gonna ruin Christmas. I am the elf who ruined Christmas, but. Hopefully you guys like ready Christmassy setup. If you didn't watch my video where I printed loads of stuff out, my bubbles, and added way more of your pictures with a HP sprocket, go check that out. It's a Christmassy setup video. It was a lot of fun to do, and I really like the way it looks. Hopefully you guys do as well. So we are back with these two Pokeroonies today in the city, because we've also got a little baby, which I think needs to become a toddler today. If you guys are excited for this episode, give it that cheeky little Christmassy themed thumbs up. And guys, let's play some Sims 4 in the city with Jess Rooney and Rox Rooney. Let's go. I sorry, I just like to do things at times. The music, guys, I can't help it. I just do. Also, lovely Ali just brought me this big, beautiful, juicy coffee and said, though, that if I wanted the coffee, I had to say that Ali loves me lots and lots in the video. So there we go, guys. I've done it. You can tell Ali that I said it, okay? Go tell him on Twitter uh -huh. that I said it. <gasps> guys, why are you facing through each other in the fridge? I need my coffee. These guys are always doing it in this house. Everyone in this house phases through each other. So... Here is baby Abel. One minute, walls up, please. Walls up. Realism. Here is baby Abel in this little bed. He has got four pixels on his face and that's it. Still though, he's really cute. And today we're going to see what he looks like as a bit of a more grown up Pookaroonie. So I'm kind of feeling like I really want this one to level up in a job. Mainly because I don't know if her outfit's going to change. But I hate that suit. I hate the suit. I also hate that her work outfit, if you've noticed, I don't know if you guys have spotted this, it takes away her eyelashes, which I also really hate because Sims look so strange without their eyelashes on. So, please can you be practicing your guitar skills? But ciao, do a little bit more practicing on those. Have you actually got work today? You got work in eight hours. What time are we on? 6 a.m. You guys are up really, really early. And here is new mommy. Well, they're both new moms. They are both new moms. It's not just who gave birth to the baby. They are both beautiful, gorgeous little mummy bears. But of course, Jessie is the one kind of recuperating after the whole birthing and the whole horrific pregnancy that she had. By the way, that video got flagged for demonetization and only got unflagged last night. So that really sucked. I don't know if it was because it was... A horrific pregnancy in the title there's a bit of me that really hopes that it wasn't because it was two mums having a baby um but that video got really really harshly like demonetized so that kind of sucks uh little jessa rooney jesse bobs jessa bobs she is actually already at level 10 of her career she has smashed this whole career business we said that we have like um a scientist room here for her but i'm kind of holding off on just spending too much money because once kira and charlie rose level up their charisma skills i do want them to both ask their parents for a little bit of help so that they can try and open this vet's business together because even though charlie rose won't be a vet she will be profiting from the vet business so it is a joint partnership between the two cousins and best friends <gasps> What is this? You're cooing at an invisible baby, Jessie. What are you even doing? What are you even doing? So I don't want to be spending too much money um, until I can make sure that everybody can give their loans over and stuff. So that's kind of the thought process there, you guys. I would like to do the ATM thing. But the ATM is 10,000 pounds. Why are you panicking? It's your, it's your little baby. Change its diaper. Give it a little uh, breastfeed, okay? Give it a shoosh, give it a rock, make a little silly face, and give it a cuddle, okay? Jesse would be able to breastfeed, Roxy wouldn't be able to breastfeed because you would, you would can't breastfeed if you didn't give birth because your body would be like not making the milks and whatnot, so she wouldn't be able to do it. But Jesserino can. So, here is Roxy trying to level up those guitar skills. I really like, like, I love like long, smooth, beautiful, like black hair. So I like her hair a lot. I think it's really, really pretty. Also, I feel like I kind of look a little bit tired. I'm sorry if I do look tired. Um, I don't know if you guys have been watching Blue Planet 2, uh, but there's been a lot of stuff in there about like the horrible impact of plastic and the environment and basically humans and pollution in the environment. And that stuff really gets to me and like I find it keeps me, if I've watched 
with if I've watched or seen anything with it in it, I, I kind of can't sleep at night. Like it really, it really keeps me up. I not just like passively like, oh, it's really sad and not do anything about it. Like I, I support a lot of animal charities. We recycle everything. Like we are so keen on recycling. We empty our recycling bin much more than we empty our regular bin. But it still bugs me and it still keeps me up at night. And I get really upset because I just, I really love animals, you guys. So if I look a little bit tired, that is literally right. Oh my gosh. I've been calling it baby Abel. Abel is Max's baby. I bet you guys were like yelling at the screen. Green. Ryder. Ryder is Jesse and Roxy baby. Ryder Jet. Ryder Jet. And he's actually taken uh, Roxy's name, which I thought was nice because Jesse was the mummy, but then it's taken Roxy's name. So it's like a little bit of both of them. I thought that was a nice way to do it. So Jesse and Roxy are now good friends, which I like a lot as well. Here we go. Good friends. This is a solid relationship built on trust and great memories. I'm not sure if the baby's got that many memories, you know, with it being a baby and all. Oh, Jesse's come to come and watch Roxy on a guitar. How cute are these two? Wait, your thing is... Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, you could be getting a promotion today. Okay, okay, okay. You have work in, I think, in an hour. So why don't we just make sure you're feeling super, super happy. Go and use a little wee-wee. You could do with a bite to eat before you go to work. Or maybe your social. Actually, let's... Let's do your social. So why don't you come back in and give a little Jess? Oh, she's stuck on the microphone. Look at that. Do you see that? A little bit of microphone confusion there. Give Jessie just some some beautiful loves because you guys are, are such a lovely, lovely couple. I don't know why you need to get to know each other. You've known each other for a really long time now, but still. Them. Oh wait, you don't have work for five hours. It's you don't have work for five hours. Why was I getting? Oh, it's Jessie. It's Jessie that has work. Okay, Jessie, we are going to send you alone now, I'm afraid, my love. Off you go. But after you two have first done some cutes. Oh my gosh. Did you see her just disappear? She actually just disappeared. Okay, that's fine because Roxy needs to get in a good mood before she goes to work. You're not going to do that, love, by eating cake. So don't eat cake. Eat a nice fruit salad instead, okay? So Roxy has phoned up and chatted with Kira, James, Selma, and Emma as well. And she's had a nap before work, so I think hopefully that is going to put her in a really good mood. Ryder has been sent to daycare, poor little baby. Um, and she got to catch up with all her family members, which is nice. Because if you guys remember, it's actually Roxy and uh, James have a really... They're good friends and I love their little relationship together. It's so nice. Oh, Jessica's been given a raise at work as well. And Ryder's back from daycare. I think he's only at daycare for like an hour, which is really good, so... That's super nice, and Jessie can go in and do some little looks after of him again. Oh, <gasps> Roxy has been promoted to Instrumental Wonder. She now makes an additional seventy-eight dollars an hour. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh! What? 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 What on earth are you wearing? Are you an Elvis impersonator? She makes more money an hour. She got a big, huge, cheeky bonus, so we could do the ATM trick. And she's dressed as Elvis. I don't understand why she's dressed as Elvis, but you do have a little bit more skill build up that you need to do. However, you. you are a super sleepy bun bun. So why don't you guys just have some nice din dins together? Are you not even that hungry? Just get to sleep, my love. Get straight to sleep. Maybe say a quick hello to our child and then go to sleep, okay? This outfit is so weird. She's level six apparently skill. And it kind of clips through her hair massively as well. I don't understand why that's like, I was like, I want to get her out of the suit. I hate it. And then she comes home wearing that, and I'm just like, what? What? Oh, babies woke up in the night. Roxy, I think no, none of them are waking up. What kind of ridiculous, like, how the baby's right next to them, and both of them are just dead to the world. Roxy's going to be the one that gets up and gives her some loves, because I want to make sure that both of them have a really good relationship with him. <gasps> it is classed as the sun. I love that. I love, love, love that. So uh, Roxy is currently just a friend, but I want to make sure they become good friends. So she's giving little baby some nice loves and whatnot. And then she will go back to sleep. This is part of having a baby, having to get up in the night. So she's done a pretty good job, you guys. I'm pretty happy with that. <gasps> she does need a wee, though. Really badly needs a wee. Desperate for the wees. Kira would like to come over and hang out. Is that Okay, yes, Kira, please come hang out and get to know your little bro a little bit more. Hopefully she's going to come in and uh, she's, she's coming over at 9 a.m. Fair play to the girl. Hopefully she'll come over and say hey to him. You've got a key. We don't need to let you in. That's You don't need to do that. Although, look, it's coming up with give apartment key, which is really weird because we definitely gave her an apartment key last time. Really weird, you guys. Oh, so this is nice. So she's kind of come over for a little brunch together. I like when they still all hung out and it seems like more realistic if your daughter comes and visits and stuff. I mean, Friday, I kind of feel like she should be at work, but you know. Oh my gosh, Roxy is a bit occupied right now. Should she still go to work? I think it's because Kira's here and because she's looking after the baby, but 
we want the money to give to Kira, so I'm still gonna be sending her to work. Like, the baby is taking its toll, you guys. We've got, like, a broken shower. We're running back and forth trying to deal with the baby. Oh my gosh, Roxy is actually ill. She's got a headache at the moment. It's tough. Like, having a baby is definitely really, really tough. Oh, Ryder just became good friends with Roxy, you guys. It's 2 a.m. and Roxy's up again. Because Jessie's actually, like, tidy and she just had a shower. She's changed to a different outfit. Their, their hours are completely out of sync because of the baby, which is pretty cheeky. We've also got loads of pictures and stuff. How come I can't put that on the wall? Why you not let me put it on the wall? It's the nice prom pictures. What the hell? Why would I want to put it on the... <laughs> Why would I want to put it on the skirting board? That's so weird. Can I not put it on the wall? There, move objects shows that I can put it on the wall. It's weird because it's Charlie Rose. I don't know if I can like give it as a gift. Let's make them both a bit bigger. I mean, I think that even though Charlie Rose isn't theirs, they've lived with her for so long that they probably would quite like the picture with them on the wall. So look, that is from the prom. That's Charlie Rose with Jamie and Kira with Anthony. There you go. Oh my gosh, they've got loads of prom pictures, you guys. Literally so many. Oh my god, that's like the same one like a thousand times. <laughs> I don't know where the one of the girls is. That's annoying. I wanted to put the one of both the girls up, but apparently Jessie doesn't have it. I don't know if one of the girls has it instead. She just got loads of the, the girls and the boys together. So Rox has decided to go for a very early morning sort of workout session. It is stressful having a baby. Maybe she just wants to get away, but look at this. You're running here. And that's your view. Like, how cool is this gym? This is where Ali would sometimes work out. And I just think it's such a cool place to work out. It's a very cool lot, you guys. A really cool gym. And look at this. It's even got a basketball court on the roof. What? Is that? Is that Rox? Oh my gosh, I thought that was Roxy, but it's actually Emily. We know Emily takes her fitness really seriously. She's working out before she even gets inside the gym, you guys. She is a model, I guess. Oh, a doggy is here! Oh, Blue, you big fluff cutie pie. Look at all your little roly skin. I kind of forgot. Like, I forget when I'm not playing cats and dogs. It's obviously going to be cats and dogs in other places than just uh, Brindleton Bay. So look, we've got Rosie. I think this is Rosie might be his dog. He's kind of hanging out with his owner while he's working out, which is cool. A gym that allows dogs in it sounds like the coolest gym ever. Just kind of chit-chatting away with this guy. Oh, and he's just embarrassed himself. Awkward. Okay, Roxy, you've got a little baby at home though, so it's time to head back to your family lambs, okay? And now that you're home and you're here a little bit early, I know we said we were going to adopt a little black kitten called Toothless. But I thought we would just kind of, just quickly, is it under order? It can't be under order. I was going to say let's check. Here we go, adopt. Let's just have a look at the, the current situation of what is available. Because after watching that Blue Planet thing, I'm like, no, we can't buy, we need to adopt. <laughs> we definitely need to adopt. Okay, these guys are all the little kittens that we could potentially get. <gasps> I like Frankie. Oh my gosh, I like Molly as well, but look at Frankie. How much of a cutie little bun does he look? <gasps> I think Frankie would probably have a lot of sass. I'm thinking they need a Frankie in their lives. What do you guys think? The other ones are Wendy, who's a Javanese. We've got Winston, who's an Oriental short hair. Tom, the Balinese. Sprinkles. Yara. Lola. But there's something about Frankie's face. Like, he just looks quite sassy. And he's a kitten which I like as well. So, oh my gosh, look at Joey. Joey's kind of got a skull on his face. Uh, I do like Molly a lot as well, but I just think Frankie's cool. Okay, so last time we tried to adopt, um, the adoption wouldn't work. Like, the lady came and then it just wouldn't work from there onwards. So let's see if it goes any better this time. So she's, oh! Oh my gosh, she's actually whipped out the adoption tray. <gasps> you guys, it has worked. Look at this. It's little Frank Roo. Frankie. Frankie, look at me, Baba. Okay, so the adoption lady's just given it a little bit of loves herself. So we know she's evil, though. And here is our first ever kitten on any series. It's little Frankie. Hey, Frank Roo. He's a Siberian cat. Okay, let's go and do... Oh, do we still need to select the adoption? Do we need to speak to her about it or the cat? I'm gonna speak to the cat. I don't like her. She's evil. Look at these two. Like, the kitten wants attention and they're like, but look at you. You're so cute. Go do your friendly introduction. Let's just make sure it's the right kind of cat for us. A kitten and a baby. It's quite like a tough combination, isn't it? I like his big crate. Okay, so Roxy's kind of saying hello. 
Just seeing what, what the she thinks of the cat and what the cat thinks of her. They seem to like, they seem to be getting on quite well. Oh, look. Oh my God, Jessie loves her. She's got the love heart above it. Okay, why don't we get to know it? Uh, and we can give it a little pet. Oh no, go away, you. You're, it's got nothing to do with you. You're just here to drop it off, okay? Okay, so Frankie, we know, is a talkative cat. We should probably try and get to know a few of his traits before we actually adopt him. She's playing with it with the laser pointer. I love when cats play with lasers. <gasps> it's even shaped as a little fish. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Darcy literally loves these things so much. I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of loving Frankie. I think he's such a little cutie bun bun. And I like the idea of them having a little cat. I want to dress it up though, clearly. <laughs> I obviously want to dress it up. Actually, one of you guys sent me a mod to get bandanas on cats. So I'm going to be having to do that, you guys. Oh, it's so cute! We need to know a little bit more about it yet, though. All we know right now is that it's talkative. Can she get to know him a little bit better? Maybe see if there's any more traits? She seems pretty happy with him, though. Look at cute Roxy. Oh, Roxy became friends with Frankie. But we Oh, Frankie's a girl! I thought Frankie was a boy! This, this is a very girly whirly household, you guys. <gasps> you can request a song because it's a talkative cat. <gasps> Where's it gone? Where did it go? No! No, what's happened? What has happened? Why is she just standing over our child? Oh my gosh. Okay, Jesse, can you deal with Wee Babby for a second? I want to figure out what is going on. Why is my kitten just disappeared? I was so ready to make it my own. I don't understand. Where's Frankie gone, you guys? Did I not adopt him in time? He's disappeared. Mizuki is leaving your adoption evaluation appointment is ending. <gasps> ah, so they they evaluate you and see if you're a good owner and then do they call you after and tell you if you've got the pet? I don't understand you guys. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, electricals. Even though Jesse is an expert, I never let them do electricals just in case. So what happens now? What happens with the kitty cat? I need to know. Kira's here for a surprise pop-in. That is definitely Je Jessie's, uh, sorry, Roxy's work outfit, which is so weird, like literally so weird. But I want to know what's going on with my kitten. Okay, so I'm going to try, <laughs> try this whole Frankie business again, because I'm so confused as to why it didn't work. I think I, I actually had to do the whole adopt thing. Which I didn't do. I'm hoping at least it's going to remember that they've got a beautiful relationship together. Co no, look! Now I have to introduce myself to the cat again. Even though they were like legit friends before. And I'm just going to go straight for this adopt thing. I'm not going to make that not be an option anymore. Okay, now she's holding the cat and she's going to the lady and be like, Are you sure you want to adopt the pet? Yay! Okay, I'm going to go for Jet Calorie. I don't think I'll be able to go for Jet Calorie Aiken. It's probably going to be a bit long. Oh, <gasps> no, I can! There we go! Now we have the kitten, you guys. Oh, look how happy she is. She loves the... Oh, my gosh. Jessie is ill. Jessie is really ill. Okay, I think you need to order yourself some medicine, Jessie, because I want to have a little birthday party this evening because it's a Sunday for little baby Ryder, but I can't do that if you've been all sick and whatnot. Oh, you can't order the medicine. What the hell? Maybe we can do a herbal remedy? Oh, no, we don't have everything that we need. Maybe you just need a glass of water and a nap. Okay, and while Jessie is doing that, I should probably get some kitty cat stuff for the apartment. So, I like getting all this stuff. Why don't we get... See, they, they're a bit more wealthy, these guys, so they can actually get the lit stuff. So why don't we get this little automatic feeder? Oh, wow, it's quite big, isn't it? It's a pretty huge feeder, you guys, but there we go. Just pop that over here, just next to the bin. Oh, not in the bin, though. There we go. I mean, it's probably kind of gross to put it right next to the bin. <gasps> and then we've got this cool self-cleaning litter tray. Where can I put this where it's not going to be, like, really gross and, like, in your face kind of thing? I might until they decorate these rooms. I will decorate them, don't worry. I just want to save some money to give to the girly whirlies. I'm just going to pop it in there for now. And then where'd you put a little kitty cat bed? Oh, we need to get it in a big scratch rooney post as well. Oh my gosh, it's actually huge, isn't it? <laughs> It doesn't look as big in the girl's house somehow. Where can we put this? Oh, they've got such a trendy apartment. I almost don't want to ruin it with like this big, huge thing. I'll just put it in the hallway there. It's kind of out of sight a little bit. We can at least make it match the colors of the house a little bit more as well. 
kind of thinking, actually, that is probably the best one, isn't it? Little grey, so it's matching the house. It's not as ugly now. Then let's grab some of these little cat toys for them too. Just pop it on the floor for now. Oh, I like this. This kind of goes with their apartment. It's like a scratchy post. But it's like, it's not that too much of an offensive one. So I'm just going to pop it at the end there. Because it kind of goes, you guys. It kind of goes. And I wonder, I've made this small using this small cheat. And I wonder if we can still use it if it's small. Because it kind of goes. It's a bit more trendy. There you go. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I can make that big, huge thing a little bit smaller, a little bit less offensive. Because it is ridiculously big. There. I don't know how much you'll still be able to use it, but there we go. And then last thing is the bed. I want him to sleep in the same room as, the, as those guys. I kind of want him just to sleep on the bed with them, but I'm going to pop a little bed at the end of their bed. See, this again is like insanely big. I'm gonna see if he can still use it if it's like, not, not that small, but like this small. That's kind of a more reasonable size, I would say. Okay, she's happy that we got the litter tray. Roxy, why don't you fill up this little food bowl? And then while Jessie's kind of recovering... Oh, what the hell? She just tries to flirt with Jessie! And Jessie did not like that at all. Oh my gosh, but she's, it's given her a bit of a romance thing. But she get, she got negative hearts, so that's really weird. Yo, Mizuki is leaving. Yeah, you need to leave. Like, what are you even doing? No, don't watch TV, Roxy, because Jessie needs to nap, okay? Instead, why don't you play with little kitty cat? Jess is trying to get rid of a poor illness. I mean, she looks pretty bad, you guys. She's looking really, really ill. And she does not want to be passing that on to Ryder. Ryder, who she has a 100% relationship with. Oh, look, she's playing with the cat wand, you guys. How cute is that? It does like little special sort of like sparkles coming out of it. Oh, I love that. He loves it so much. Look at him go. Oh, cutie Ryder. No, not Ryder. Ryder's the baby, for God's sake, Claire. For God's sake. But these guys are very, very cute together. Oh. I kind of want to get a kitten at the same time as I have a baby now. <laughs> oh my, while well, the cat's getting loads of attention, the baby's like literally got nothing in the other room. Oh look, there's some fuzz left on the floor from from when they played with the teddy, uh, the little wand. And she can throw away fuzzy or put it in her inventory. I think she should put it in her inventory. <gasps> Frankie is a lazy cat. They really like relaxing and unwinding. So we found out some more stuff about Frankie. He's talkative and he's lazy. And Jessie became friends with him. And there's like baby music playing from this. <gasps> oh, we're Instagramming him. Okay, can we can we zoom in a little bit? Is that as close as we can go? There we go, post a picture to Instagram. He gets 25 followers. <gasps> Frankie started to gain some attention as an up and coming Instagram star. Think positively pet products has sent a small token to thank her for her outstanding pictures. Check your household inventory and keep up the good work. <gasps> oh my gosh. They've sent us a little ball, you guys. Okay, we'll pop it in the house. We've got loads of stuff. Oh my gosh, I still have all Jessie's science stuff. I could actually start st setting some of that stuff up, couldn't I? So she can have her science room again. She sure liked her science room, you guys. Have you been given an out of this world desktop? Jeez. Although I really want to set it up, it's also worth 15,000 pounds. So look how much money I've just given them, which is just ridiculous. And also check out Jessie's science room. I thought that was pretty cool looking science room. And I like that these two are set up so she can look out over that awesome sort of scenery. While she's doing her science in. There's still a lot of stuff I need to add to the apartment yet. We've still got Hajar's ashes there. <sighs> but I'm going to leave it there for now. Because I'm going to get that ATM. Hopefully it's still working. Just set that up there for a second. And then can I gift this card? Thing is, I don't really know how you give gifts. Which is a little bit annoying. Oh, look. I don't think the machine's working anymore since cats and dogs, unfortunately. Because I go to buy card and nothing happens. Which kind of sucks. So I'm going to get rid of that again. Ah, oh, I thought I could just give them loads of money. The good news is Jessie is looking much, much better now. After her little, her little nap and her little glass of water and whatnot. So I think it's time to get set up for this birthday party. So first thing we need to do is grab little Ryder and pop him as a center of attention. I kind of just want to like, where can I just, should I stick him here underneath there? I think that's a pretty good spot. Ryder, come on, where, baby? You are snoozing at the moment, but I need to get you in this crib. There we go. And then 
I think I think one of them's in a club. I think Jesse is potentially in the club. Yeah, so she can just start a club gathering. And then we will just need to manually add everybody else. So start club gathering. And then you're gonna have to just call other people, okay? So it's everybody that's not on there. So like Jay's not on there, Charlie's not on there, James is. Claire and Ali aren't. Emily is club leader, so she's on there, but Emma isn't. Lilith. Oh, wow. Jesse and Lilith don't, don't really know each other very well. I need to change that. What the hell? You know who I'm not seeing? I'm not seeing Connor. I'll see if Roxy knows Connor. I don't know if she will do though. Taylor, I need to add as well. No, I can't invite. Oh my gosh. Look at Roxy and Jay. They do not like each other at all. That's so weird. Cause how can you dislike Jay? He's like, he's always been really nice to everyone. That's kind of weird. Maybe she's a little bit jealous of Je uh, Jesse and Jay working together. The kitten's gone over to go and say hello to the baby. Salma Rooney is here. Hey Selma. Oh my gosh, don't embrace her. Discuss in don't ask if oh, I forgot that Jesse and um or is it Roxy and Selma that have a little bit of a flirtation together? No, it's it's Jesse. Okay, they've got cute little like baby music playing. Oh little Lilith is here. Oh my gosh, why is she very angry? From flirt flirty spouse. Oh, what? Who is Jessie flirting with? She's all the way over here. She's giving Lilith a hug. What the hell? That's really, really weird, you guys. Jessie, why don't you keep just chit-chatting with little Lilith? I like how they gave each other a hug. That's really cute. Oh, and now, now Claire's giving Lilith a hug. Lilith is getting lots of love, you guys. Oh, so those three are all having a nice little chit-chat. But Roxy's really angry. She's actually just left the room. And she thinks that we've got a flirty spouse. You know who I bet it is? I bet it's Jesse and Salma. I literally bet you anything it's Jesse and Salma. They have this kind of weird sort of flirtation going on together. I don't know where it's come from, but I don't like it at all. Let's get rid of these. I've, that's so funny, I've never seen that before. Roxy's spouse is flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind her back? I've never ever once seen that. James, where are you going? Oh, he's just going to say hi to Roxy. Uh, to Jesse. Too many names, you guys. What is she doing? I don't know what's going on there. Max is here as well. You know, we still keep him in the family, you guys. Zoe, it's her birthday. No, it's Ryder's birthday, okay? We don't care about your birthday. Look how beautiful and bright this apartment is. I feel like I'm just basking in the sun. Roxy's cooking some nice food for everyone. Charlie Rose is here as well. She's having a little chit chat with Jay. All very nice. Even Max has been well behaved. Claire saying hello to the kitten. We've got Taylor here as well. It's just all, all really nice little Favalam's meals. And we've got the, the food up. Should we call everybody over to the meal? Let's let people get some foodies. I don't know if there's going to be enough for everyone, but we'll try it. So everyone's eating some nice food. We did, uh, ooh, some, something's gone well. Something's gone really well. Uh, we did garlic noodles because, of course, Kira's here and Kira's vegetarian. Actually, is Kira even here? Kira! Where are you? It's your brother's birthday. You need to be here, okay? Oh no, she's here. She's definitely here somewhere. Look at these two being little flirt heads. Okay, Jesse, I think it's time for you to age up little Ryder. I'm excited to see how he's gonna look. I'm kind of thinking, even though I know pink isn't a natural hair color, I kind of want to give him like a crazy colored hair just because Jesse does. And I, I know, oh, Ryder aged up, wow. We didn't even get to see that happen. Okay, so we've already got uh, an angelic toddler, which is, oh, knocking my Christmas decorations. We've already got um, Faith as an angelic toddler. We had Connor as a charmer. We could have Silly. They love to tell jokes and get playful. Their imagination skills slightly better. We've had Clingy before. We've had Inquisitive before. I think we've had Fussy before. I think Silly could be quite a nice one. So I think we age up Ryder into a little silly toddler. And let's see, oh my God, look at Jesse's arms. Look at Jesse's arms. What are they even doing? Okay. Oh my gosh, he's wearing a little foxy outfit. Ra Kasikira has sent Ryder a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail. Jesse is straight in there giving him some little loves and teaching him how to walk. Okay, but you know what we need to do, you guys. We need to design him a little look. So, where, where am I going? I need to find a mirror. Where are all the mirrors in this house? Okay, here we go. Here's the mirror. Why don't we go and, um, oh, I need to do 
cast full edit mode so I can put on. Ooh, it's taking screenshots. <laughs> cast full edit mode so I can give him eyelashes. And then let's do a little bit of a design. Oh, poor Cloud's got a poly tummy by the looks of it. Let's do a little bit of a design of cute little rider Jet, who's already got the movement skill, but he is pretty hungry, you guys. He's got himself some garlic noodles. He's all good. He's all good. Little Faith's watching. Uh, sorry, Lilith is watching him. Oh, Lilith, I think you definitely need to age up as well fairly soon. So maybe next episode, this little bean. Next episode of Dreamhouse, this little bean can age up. I'm excited to see how he looks, you guys. I can't wait. Okay, so here he is, you guys. Little cute baby rider. Uh, I'm going to take off his top just for a second, although I do really like it. Oh my gosh, he's got long hair. He's got the, like, really, really long hair. Okay, let's just... There's a really nice, like, toddler sort of skin details I can give him. And I want to give him eyelashes too. Okay, so he's got his little eyelashes. That hair, I'm just going to take it off for a sec because it's really silly. <laughs> okay, so this is the toddler skin that I like. Although this one's kind of looking a little bit dead. Is there a one that's similar colour to him? It's quite, he's quite a fair child. A fair child! I think that one's probably quite a close one. He's probably a little bit more yellowy skin toned, but... See, he's actually this skin tone, but it takes away his top eyelids. Just like a really, really weird glitch thing that it does. So I'm gonna do him on this one. Although I... I don't know, I might leave that off just for now. <laughs> Look at his little kid teeth. <laughs> so cute. Okay, and he's got big, beautiful blue eyes. However, I really like these kind of eyes. So I think I'm gonna give him these sort of eyes instead. He's kind of quite fair, light blue eyes. I'd say like that kind of a colour. Like a greeny blue. Or I might just go for a little bit more green like this. I don't know. Maybe this. I'm gonna go for those kind of an eyes on him. Ah, oh, this is the toddler cheeks that I like to do. I just think it makes him look really, really cute. <gasps> Although we could give him this kind of a skin as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's just so many options. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at hair. Because he kind of had longer hair. And he had, like, brown hair. But I'm kind of tempted to give him, like... Just because Jesse's got crazy colour hair. I'm kind of tempted to give him a crazy colour hair as well. And since he did naturally have long hair... Oh my gosh, how cool is that hair? Oh, I like that a lot. Since he did have long hair, I'm quite happy to, like, keep him with, like, a long, longer sort of hairstyle. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's really cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's got such a nice, like, two-tone effect. Because I feel like they would use, you know, those, like, baby safe dyes. Like, not any sort of crazy, like... They're, they're beautiful, wonderful parents, you guys. But you can get, like, these, like, really gentle, like, wash-in, wash-out dyes for your kid's hair. I know it looks like I'm making him quite feminine-looking as well. But it's because he naturally aged up quite feminine-looking. So I kind of want to keep a little bit of that. Like, I want him to keep some of his, like, natural sort of traits, if you get me. I mean, for me, it's between this hair, like this sort of a thing, which is very cute and very gentle, and, like, this kind of a hair, but in that colour. No, that colour. That colour. It's between this and this. So, one, two, this or this. It's kind of hard to tell. I like both of them a lot. God, he's such a cutie, isn't he? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> Look at the little piggy doady. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like the pig one. <laughs> but I like that one because it's got the little ring on it. I don't have to give him a doody yet though because I just want to finish off his design. Okay, I think we've got like the start of his little design done. I know he's kind of a little bit different looking, but... It's nice to kind of mix it up a little bit. He looks very different to Connor did as a kid, yeah. you know? And then he had like the little fox hoodie on, so I kind of want to keep a little bit of that on him. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking of this for his little day look, because I want to keep that little like foxiness of him. Oh my gosh, like, he's so cute. I just want to take loads of pictures of him, because he's such a little cutie pie. Little rider. Ah! Oh my god, okay, so... And then his little formal look. I kind of want to give him the little suit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that he's got crazy color hair. I can't tell if you guys are going to love or hate it. But I want to do like something a little bit different with him, you know? And then his little bed look. I think maybe we bring the little um, hoodie back. Okay, he's got his little Jimmy Chamaroos with the little hoodie back on. And then his little party gear. I love it when they do that. <laughs> 
we could give him a little cape. Oh my gosh. Or a cozy little jumper. Put a little doggy on it. I kind of like the cape. I like this one with yellow stars on it. Maybe this for his little party gear. He's like a little superhero with his little converse and his little tiny, tiny jeans on. Looking like so cute. I look at him. Ah! He's so cute. I just want to do a little cry when I look at him. Absolutely gorgeous little bean. Okay, so that's all his looks done. He's got his little day outfit, his little party outfit, his little sleeper room outfit, and his little, um, no, that's his party outfit. So that's his formal outfit. I think he's really, really cute. I love that he's like a little bit different looking and he's kind of got that from Jesse and Roxy. Please let me know what you think about him in the comments below. I know he looks quite feminine, but that's because he aged up quite feminine. And I want to kind of keep that about him. It doesn't necessarily mean anything about him. Some, I know so many little boys with like beautiful long blonde hair that kind of look very girly, but they're definitely still boys. Like with, with kids, I think it's quite hard to tell the gender of kids anyway, because they kind of look a little like, they're just kind of like little kids, aren't they? You don't need to worry about that stuff when they're kids. So I think he's looking really, really cute. I'm actually a little bit in love with him. Please let me know what you think about little Ryder Roo in the comments below. I love him. I literally just love him so, so much. But please let me know what you think about him as well. Well, that's put me in such a good mood. <laughs> I just want to pick him up and... That kind of sounds like I want to rip him apart. I don't want to do that. I just want to... Give him cuddles. Give him lots of cuddles. Jesse's... St uh, sorry, Roxy's still really angry. But like, Jesse is in here doing science. So I don't know what, what the whole anger situation is about. Little Ryder is here on the sofa being a really cute little bum bum. I like how he's barely got any of his teeth. He's just got kind of like the middle ones, which gives him a little bit of a strange sort of smile. He's looking up at uh, Kira. But he's looking super, super cute. Everyone's kind of heading home now. Oh, he's looking at the kitten! Oh my gosh, a kitten and a rider in the same episode. How amazing is that? So, before we leave, I'm just really quickly uh, gonna give Ryder a little room, because right now he doesn't have one. And we have a room set up here, all ready to go to give him one. So he needs a little toddler bed. Like, I said that I quite like the idea of the jungle room for... Did I say the jungle room for Ryder? I think I did, you know. But the jungle bed is actually like a kid's bed. So he'll need like an in-betweeny kind of thing for now. But I will make the rest of his room quite junglerific. So I think I'll... Let me, do... let me paint the room and stuff first. So that's the really nice wallpaper. I don't know if it's got floor that goes with it. So I might just have to kind of give him his own sort of floor. Like a bamboo-y kind of one like that looks quite quite good. I wanted to give him a green one, but you don't really get green wood floor, do you? I mean, I hate that. Give him that kind of a floor, actually. That's quite cute. I like that. I like that it's all jungly fied. I would have loved this room so much as a kid. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the light. Look at the light. Script oh no, script call failed. Damn. I really wanted to put the light on. I also can't put the rug down because look, it just looks totally wrong, which is a shame because I really love this set, but at least we got some of the other nice stuff in there. So I've got like the little chair so we can read books to him. Here's his cute little bookcase. His little pictures above the bed. He's got a little dino in the corner of the room and this little cabinet here. But I think there's a few more things we can put in here that aren't necessarily part of the set, but are still gonna go really well. I'm kind of tempted to give him the, the Pokemon sort of desk. I think it kind of goes. And we can give him the little green chair to go with it, you know? I know it's, there's a Pokemon chair, but this one kind of goes with the room a little bit more. And then I thought this kind of goes as well because it's green. I'm going to show you the room. I like, I had an absolute blast decorating this room. <laughs> so his bedroom door is going to be this one here. Let's go down to toddler level for this. He'll come through here. And here is his room. As you can tell, I had a lot of fun. I really wish I could have put that light up, but the script call failed. I've shrunk a lot of stuff so that I could put it in the room. But he's got so many, like, little wall decals with, like, little doggy and cats. I feel like he's going to love animals. And then all these little trees around there. He's got his little bookcase there. Here's where his mommies can read him a little story. He's got his little Pokemon uh, desk here. Just generally a lot of cuteness. And he's got all these little toys in here. We need another one for up there, actually. A little bag at the end of the bed for when he goes to preschool. And I just love it. I just love it so much. I think it's one of my favorite kids' rooms. I love Connor's room a lot. 
But I really, really like that room. And I love that we've got another room decorated in the apartment. Next episode, we're going to have to do this one here. But I think things are looking really good, you guys. Look at that. Emma is straight in. She's like, yep, love this. Love this. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to have a conversation with him because I love him. And then little Ryder has gone to go watch Jessie doing her science in. And Jessie is straight down to come and see her little cute son. Okay, yeah, she's off. She's off. <gasps> oh, and we've also learned that Frankie is a glutton pet. So he's a little fatty bum bum as well. <gasps> so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode where we've aged up little Ryder. We had a little birthday party. And we got a pet kitten. If you did, please give a little cheeky thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below what you think of Ryder's design and his room. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to share it. And I'll see you guys in another episode of Sims 4 in the City. Bye. Yeah.